Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, just to dive right in, is a postpartum update. So for those of you who don't know, I had a baby about four and a half months ago, actually 20 weeks ago today, which is kind of crazy to think that I had a baby 20 weeks ago because it feels like it was yesterday um, in some sense, but then in other sense it feels like it was a very long time ago. Time is kind of a weird thing when you have a baby. Like I feel like it's slow, but it's also super fast at the same time. It's weird. Um, but with postpartum, I kind of wanted to update you guys on how I've been feeling and how that I've been doing. I've gotten a few questions on like weight loss, like losing the weight, baby weight, and how I've done that, and just things like that. So I thought I would answer some questions today and just kind of go through how I've been feeling and how I've been doing. So first off, with dealing with being postpartum, you deal with a lot of hormone changes. Also, by the way, it's like a partly cloudy day, so like my lighting might go a little weird. Anyways, back to it. Back to what we were talking about. I was talking about hormones. Hormones are a weird thing, and especially I learned they're even weirder when you're breastfeeding. So I'm exclusively breastfeeding my daughter, and it's been an experience. I mean, it definitely has gotten a lot easier, for sure. Like, I feel like I can just put her on and we're good. We've come to kind of like a stumbling block where she gets really distracted really easily and it can be very frustrating and very time consuming and I we're having a bit of a struggle um she just wants to latch on off on off on off and so we're nursing like every few hours like a lot more frequently and it's just kind of a mess so we're working on that trying to get her to focus a little bit more on eating and yeah so breastfeeding though besides that is going so much better um but with that comes the hormones and you know when i first had zara of course you have like the typical baby blues just in a way of like all of a sudden you just start crying for no reason you're like oh my gosh i'm crying or I, for me, I'd get really overwhelmed really easily, like, we went out to get pizza, like, three days after Zara was born, and I, like, had a meltdown in the car, like, an hour in, and I, like, just, I had to go home, and so, just things like that would happen, or, like, I was pumping when I first had Zara for a little bit, and I'd spilled milk, and that was a cry fest, and, I'm grateful for um, a wonderful husband and good family members that were very sensitive and helpful to me toward in that time because hormones are a crazy thing. It's You think your hormones are on steroids when you're pregnant, well then postpartum is just like a whole new ball game. So yeah. And now I do feel like they've leveled out. Like I mean, I'm still definitely hormonal <laughs> for sure. and. I don't know, particularly within the last few weeks, I've been really hormonal in ways that, like, I, it's kind of abnormal for me so far that I've noticed, and I don't know, it's kind of throwing me off a bit. I, Zara is going through her fun little four-month sleep regression, so I think part of it is to do with the lack of sleep that I've been getting. It's been, it's been really rough, and I am struggling a bit um, emotionally and mentally, but we're doing better. But yeah, other than that, hormones are doing pretty well, and I would say we're trying to get the hang of it. Another thing is body recovery. I feel like my body is really recovered really well. Um, I am planning to post my birth story with Zara and how our experience was with that and how that all went and because I I think it's important I had a very positive birth and I know that you hear a lot of horror stories and a lot of horror stories do happen but I do think it's important that there are positive birth stories out there as well and I would say mine was like next 
I mean, it was, I was very lucky. So for when I gave birth to Zara, I didn't tear. So I mean, that is a huge thing that really has helped like my recovery. I feel like I recovered really quickly. Don't get me wrong. When you have a baby, you feel like you were hit by a bus. I mean, labor delivery is extremely traumatic on your body but I didn't tear and so I think that was really helpful for me to like to recover quickly. I can tell just in my pelvic area I still have um, room to improve. <laughs> I'm still recovering in a way I don't think anything happened like with my hips or anything but I think I'm just still recovering. I have heard that it takes about a full year to recover from birth. So Besides like my hips kind of like being weird and out of place, it, I feel like other than that, I'm recovering pretty well. Another thing I've been dealing with, uh, I would say, is the negative side to postpartum is hair loss. I have been dealing with a lot of hair loss and it is really sad. I am having a really hard time with it. More of a hard harder time than I thought I would. I knew it was going to happen and I was preparing for it and being like, okay, like it's going to happen. Um, a few years ago, I was really sick and I actually lost hair then. So this isn't the first time I ever went through something like that. This is the second time. And the first time was seriously terrifying. Like I, it came out of nowhere, it just kind of happened. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, and so with this time, I kind of was expecting it, I knew what to expect, and I, it hasn't stopped. And it's been going on since I was three months, since Zara was three months, and I, I can now, like, I'm really starting to feel it, like, my hair isn't as thick, it's really, really dry, I'm, I'm having a very difficult time, because my hair is, like, it's my what do you call that like your safety net like your comfort like I've always had long hair whenever I cut my hair short I always hate it and I don't know like having it starting to go away I've always had very thick a lot of hair I have a, I have very fine hair but I have a lot of it and it's just like oh a security blanket it's a security blanket that's what it is and so I it just makes me sad that it's going away and I'm gonna have to deal with all the baby hairs like that really sucks and I don't know I if you guys have any like tips or advice on how you guys dealt with hair loss postpartum please leave it in the comments below because I I'm just doing the best that I can I am trying to use like less heat on it. I try not to wash it as often because when I brush my hair out, just more chunks of hair comes out and it just is like really heartbreaking to me. And um, I just need some advice on like what to do. I, I've been trying to use like really hydrating products just to make my hair less dry like one of them I have right here I mentioned it in my hair care video hair care video my hair tutorial that I just recently posted on my easy waves or easy curls and it's by Kristen S the strand strengthening reconstructed moisture mask I've been using this for the last few weeks and I've also been using coconut oil where I will literally just put straight coconut oil all through my head I'll let it sit overnight and then I'll wash it out in the morning and that does a really great job. I think this is really nice too for when you're in the shower and my hair has gotten better. It's not as dry but it's still pretty dry but I, I'm happy with this from what it was but hair loss, how do you get it to stop? Like I just, I just don't want to have like no hair. I feel like it's all just gonna go away but yeah anyways okay so I really needed to pull back my hair and Zara woke up so I need to develop her out so we are at a new angle and different hair and a different background <laughs> kind of um, but I thought I would just film here it would just be a little bit easier for me but weight loss so to quickly just kind of go over weight loss and kind of my little journey with that is I 
when I first got pregnant, I was 122 pounds, and then by the time I went into labor, before, right before I had Zara, I was weighed at 139 and a half pounds. So that is 17 and a half pounds gained while I was pregnant during my entire pregnancy, which is very low. Um, but I have a very small frame, and my mom actually gained that amount when she was pregnant. So it's definitely a genetics thing. I mean, typically you're supposed to gain 25 to 35 pounds while you're pregnant, but I only did 17 and a half. So, I mean, I still ate a ton of food. Like I, my body, that's just kind of how it works. So I'm just kind of telling you guys these numbers because I know that you want to hear them. I know I'm always curious about like how much people gain and lose. I don't know. I, I just hope none of you get offended by this or anything like that. That's not what I'm meaning to do, but I'm just trying to share my story. So I had Zara and I was scared to look at the scale. And so I think I did like a week after I had had her and I had almost lost all the baby weight, but I wasn't happy. I felt disgusting. I mean, you still look like seven months pregnant when right after you have your baby. And so it's kind of weird and things are different. And I don't know, like, I feel like all of my fat like went to different areas of my body and I just wasn't happy and so I was like 125 pounds and I was like you know what I need to be patient with my body I need to be patient with myself I literally just had a baby like it's crazy how us women we we go straight towards that we, we start shaming ourselves and thinking that we're we're ugly we're not worthy and we don't weigh the the weight that we should and it's so ridiculous and so I was like I can't I can't be thinking like this I need to just worry about my baby like this is not something I should worry about so I forgot about it I put it in the back burner I was like I'm not even gonna worry about this for a couple months I'm gonna focus on Zara and go from there so I did and you know what I lost um like another six pounds just from nursing um only I felt like I just kind of was eating whatever I could. I I wasn't eating particularly healthy. And so when I moved to Austin um, with my family, I was like, you know what? I'm going to start eating healthier. Um, I still haven't started working out yet. I, I'm just not there yet. Um, maybe in a few months, I when I get, when Zara is sleeping and has a good routine, maybe I can find a way to get to the gym at some point I'm hoping so but for now I was like you know what I need to change my diet I need to be eating healthier I I want to be eating healthier I want to feel better and you know what I have never noticed more of a difference in how I feel not only physically but mentally and emotionally and I am just I have so much more energy I eat so I eat a lot of greens, fruits, a lot of vegetables, but I still make sure I get lots of amount of protein and good healthy fats, and I still eat carbs, and don't worry, I still eat a burger, like, that's one of my favorite foods, is just going out, getting burgers and fries, and a milkshake. I still eat sugar. Um, I do try to limit myself, because I find now that I kind of feel sick afterwards when I eat them, because my body is just so used to me, like, pumping, like, so much healthy food and I'm not a salad girl and so I was like you know what I need to kind of ease my way into that I don't know how to make salads I still don't I'm still working on it um I'd get these like pre-single salads at Trader Joe's and they're like run between like 350 and 450 and so I would get those and I'd eat those for lunch every single day I'd really focus on like breakfast and lunch, like eating really well. And then for dinner, I kind of like would kind of eat whatever I wanted. And that's typically then I'd get a little sweet tooth craving and I'd have like some ice cream or something like that. But besides that, I, that's kind of what I've been doing. And now to try to kind of save a little bit more money, I've switched to like the pre-packaged salad. So I'll just put that in a bowl and that li- li- typically lasts me like two days. So I just cut like my cost and buy like over half so which is kind of exciting so and then I'll add like some protein like I will make extra chicken from when from dinner the night before and I'll then add that and I've been really liking that so that's what I've been doing now and I've been really happy with that and I 
I've been eat, trying to drink like more smoothies with like putting more greens into it because I just notice my energy levels are so different. I feel so good. I last week there were a couple of days when I I wasn't eating very healthy. I was eating a lot of carbs and kind of how I used to eat and I felt so sick and I was so tired. Like extra tired and I could just I could tell when I was I was driving at the time and I was like, wow, I feel so lethargic. Like, this is so not good. I, I was like, it's totally by from what I've been eating. And I went back to how I was eating really healthy and I am back on my game and I drink a ton of water and I feel so good. And I haven't worked out. I, all I've done, and I, I also don't like eat like less calories. I eat the same amount of calories just in healthy foods and I... I have dropped another eight pounds so that's just naturally and I'm nursing still my supply is still so great I feel like it's better than what it was before I'm not as anxious about my supply I am I feel like I can really trust my body and I know that it's it will produce the milk that it's supposed to I feel like my milk is like almost like higher quality and I feel like she Zara is growing more and more I mean From her two-month appointment to her four-month appointment, she gained three pounds. I don't know if that has to do with what I've been eating, but I kind of feel like it attributes to that. And I I just, I'm really proud of myself. I, I think that is something to be proud of, eating healthy, because it's a hard thing to do. It's not easy, and that's how I've done it, honestly. Like, I haven't worked out. I worked out one week um, when I first moved here to Austin, and I haven't done it since. And I truly have just changed my diet and I've just been nursing. I mean, I still feel like my body has a ways to go. I would love to now like tone up. Um, That's kind of my next step and I want to add some cardio in to kind of like do some shrinkage on like my belly area and in like my face because that's kind of cardio helps to tighten skin and kind of need a little bit of help down there. I mean, if you guys have any healthy recipes that have been really helping you, leave it in the comments below for not only me to see, because trust me, I still need all the help that I get can get. I'm still learning, but for others to see as well, I'd love to see those. Having had a baby really just changes everything. I don't know. I feel like such like a different woman and it's so strange, but Thank you so much for watching. I feel like I should just end the video here. Um, I think I might do another postpartum update here in a few months. Um, I know that they say it takes a year for your body to fully recover from giving birth. And so I'm hoping that once a year rolls around that I will feel back to my normal self and um, things are a little bit better and my anxiety and my hormones are like a little bit more leveled out and Hopefully Zara's sleeping a bit better and maybe I will have been working out by then. Um, But in the meantime, what we've been doing has been working and it's been great. And I'm happy. I feel healthy. I feel good about my body. And I hope you guys do as well for those of you who have had a baby. And if you haven't, don't be scared. I mean, it is a weird feeling. Your body is so different now. But You have this beautiful child and it's kind of cool to see your body change the way that it is and the fact that your body can do this and then kind of go back to normal it's crazy it seriously is crazy but yeah anyways okay time to end the video (laughs) thank you so much for watching today i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any um, advice or anything please leave it in the comments below i would love to hear from you guys and i can't wait to see you guys on friday thank you so much for watching bye